Gold Nugget Museum created quite a, an affection among our, our folks here. We have a lot of really fun and popular and old places here that people you know, enjoy and, and use. But the museum had a special place. First of all, it reflected the, the nature of our town, the community, and how, how it came to be. It had evolved uh, in more recent years into something that was even a little more progressive with exhibits that would be here for a month or two or three, and then we would rotate. So we were, it had a, a living spirit. I think it's the pillar of who we are. It's everything we're founded on. It's our history, it's the Gold Nugget, it's Gold Nugget Days, it's what is the Ridge, I think, entirely. And it's super important. We started doing the school programs and Days of Living History, teaching, teaching people about the local indigenous tribes. Our mission statement basically is to steward the items that are brought to us, but then also to educate the community and any opportunity for education is good. We were just getting sort of some really strong direction going with the museum and with our, uh, our, you know, with our fiscal situation. We were really making some headway, uh, establishing some new directions that were maybe more relevant to the community. And uh, about a year or so after we had set out on that new path, the whole place burned down. The entire ridge, as everyone now knows, uh, was wiped out, and the museum along with that. The morning after the fire, I drove into town, and the first place I went was to the museum, just to see what might have happened. And of course, it was, <clears throat> it was all gone. Uh, a year later, we had a recognition of, of the fire that was quite a big event in Paradise, and I was one of the speakers, and I said, Golden Nugget Museum is alive and well. And I meant that sincerely. Of course, we didn't have a museum anymore, but that very day, we had purchased this building where I'm sitting right now. That day, one year almost to the day after the fire, we had a new uh, home. Now we just had to make something of it. The campfire, as an optimist as I am, gave us the opportunity actually to be able to rebuild uh, from the original site. Logistically, having lost our original site, the computer's burnt. All of our documents, hard copies, burnt everything, so we are rebuilding everything from scratch. It's a challenge, but it's also really exciting. It's been uh, a difficult process taking a building that had no insulation, poor wiring. Turning a transmission shop with lifts and oil and disintegrated wood from years of transmission oil spilled everywhere and stuff, and the smell. And converting it to an usable building where you need climate control, you need to protect and preserve artifacts. We're doing so much cool stuff. Like, we're, we just made a little room back there. Now we've redone a lot of that back area. It's all insulated. We're going to do flooring pretty soon, and we're going to be able to make some pony walls, which are movable walls um, for the exhibition space. My vision for the next five years, say, would be that we have this beautiful, modern, high-tech exhibition hall where we can install rotating exhibits. We've been really lucky in that we have had quite a few donations since the original site burnt down. Some of the old timers here, their houses survived and they had artifacts in their houses. A lot of the storage uh, units here also survived and people had artifacts in, in their storage units. At this point, we have somewhere around 1,500 artifacts, probably, so we're actually doing pretty good in that regard. I think it's important for future generations to see the artifacts that tell a story of paradise and the hardships and the successes that pioneers made to make this town a town that we enjoy today. History will be lost if we don't keep it alive, and we need to remember that. It's, it's our heritage. Thank you for doing this. Like the people that they have here really care about preserving history and moving forward and showing the new history of it. We need to hold on to today's history. We need to document what's going on right now so that 50, 100, 200 years from now, they know what happened here. We had a great museum and we're gonna have a great museum again. <laughs>